I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. I was on Quora this morning, and I saw someone had posted a question. And the question was, where can a 70-year-old man find a job? And he continues by saying, um, let me just make sure I have this right. No, I was mistaken. My apologies. So the most upvoted answer was a 70-year-old man can find jobs at a lot of places. Grocery stores, landscaping offices, clerks at gas stations, consultant in the tech field, tutor, temp work, Uber driver, model for art schools, pizza delivery, salesman. You know, there's 20 answers that this person gives. And you know, I read this and I'm going, man, they don't even have an idea that they're being ageist. You know, that they have a bias that's showing up. Because when you look at these jobs, they have no idea what this person's experience is. All that this person has asked is, you know, where can a 70-year-old man find a job? Why can't they find a job in whatever their field is? That wasn't even addressed. That wasn't even a consideration. And it goes back to this notion that, Older workers are less able and less competent than less old workers or younger workers. And you know, it's nonsense. So I just want to simply say that if you're 70 and above, if you have expertise in a particular field, go for that area of expertise. You know you're going to have to deal with the issues of bias, and you just take it head on. And I have videos that I've spoken to individuals who are 60 and over uh, about finding work and questions that they'll be asked on interviews. Take a look at some of those videos. I think the playlist talks about over 50, because that's really where the bias starts to come in. But you know, again, for you as a 70-year-old worker, for any person who's a 70-year-old worker, yes, you can find jobs doing this kind of work, and that assumes that you want to do part-time work or work that's less strenuous. And I think if, um, if they're, they're suggesting mentally strenuous, not necessarily physically strenuous, you know, working at a Home Depot or Lowe's, being a security guard, you know, those are some of the answers that we're given. Why can't you do the kind of work you've always done if that's what you want to do? Why can't you consult to organizations that want to bring you on, but they just don't have the hours needed. So you work you know, some hours for them, you work some hours for other people. You know, there's lots of things that you are able to do, and you just have to learn how to sell your ability to a market that doesn't understand it. It's not that tough. All you have to do is take it straight on, and if they don't believe you, you haven't established the credibility with them. You have to brand yourself within your field and not just simply go knocking on doors, applying for jobs. Have jobs seek you out. And you know, again, the notion that you are less than is ridiculous. Go out there, do whatever it was you did before, and that will be perfectly fine. I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. As you can tell, I have a, a peeve about this question, and uh, I hope you found my answer helpful. Have a great day.